To deliver truly sustainable operations, multinational companies and their fleets need to look beyond electrification. While electrification can support carbon net zero goals, it's clear that also other factors will play a significant role in the whole life carbon footprint of your fleet. Welcome to the second episode of the Road to Real Sustainability with Alphabet and its CEO, Marcus Doising. Hi, Marcus. Hi, Stephen, again. Well, um, we see that more and more companies have clear sustainability targets. And for fleets, mainly important is, of course, CO2 reduction. Now, how should fleet decision makers calculate CO2 emissions in for fleets? Well, first of all, how are CO2 targets set uh, in a company? Most by the board of management, and then it's broken down into the different areas in a company. So the fleet decision maker usually receives uh, some sort of target uh, to uh, at least, first of all, measure the status quo and then create a plan how to reduce these uh, CO2 emissions. So this is coming from the board. But for this, you need to have a very precise measurement tool. At the moment, many of our customers uh, multiply the mileage of the contract with the WLTP. This is not very precise because it does not reflect the real emission um, that the vehicle and the fleet is uh, emitting. Uh, so therefore, we have created a tool. This is the Alphabet Carbon Manager. I mentioned this the last time we spoke. The Alphabet Carbon Manager offers the fleet decision maker to have a very reliable measurement uh, tool about the fleet emissions. That, he can, that the fleet decision maker can rely on and uh, use as the status quo and from there onwards develop a plan and a strategy how to reduce the CO2 emissions. When we talk about strategy, we often hear from vehicle fleet managers that they would like to electrify their fleet. Mm -hmm. Now, I think that there is perhaps a difference in what you can do with your existing, your current fleet, and the actions you can take for your new fleet vehicles. What would you recommend in terms of action for current fleet, so the existing vehicles, and the new ones that you will order in, let's say, a couple of months? Uh, it depends a little bit on the expectation or the plan that every company is giving itself. Uh, if you want to drastically reduce uh, the fleet emissions, then of course pure electric vehicles are the way to go. If you use pure electric vehicles 100% and also uh, charge them with green electricity, then you are uh, at the minimum what you can actually currently do in uh, fleet uh, CO2 emissions. Uh, however, a fleet decision maker also has to balance out the cost and the emissions as well. The emissions are the new KPI. Um, and there, the, for the existing fleet, there are many things also there that uh, the FDM can do. Uh, and they are not new, you know, uh, uh, route optimizing uh, or the right tire pressure or um, um, fuel trainings, driver trainings in order to get the consumption uh, down. By the way, not only for uh, internal combustion engine vehicles, this is relevant. Also, it's better to have a driver training to bring the overall energy cost down when using electric vehicles. So there are many things that a fleet decision maker can do for the existing fleet and for the new fleet. It all depends on how fast and how much cost uh, um, the fleet decision maker actually wants to spend in order to uh, reduce the CO2 emissions. So we talked about a lot. How can now Alphabet support the fleet customers with this complex puzzle? Yeah, so we not only uh, develop the Alphabet Carbon Manager to measure the CO2 emissions, but we also go beyond that. We have created a uh, fleet emission consulting approach that helps the customer develop things like the a CO2-based car policy, to create a plan how to electrify what part of the fleet first, to have the right charging infrastructure, to really create a plan how to structurally and sustainably uh, reduce the CO2 emissions. With our partner with Plan A, that's our strategic partner, we have created this tool to measure the CO2 emissions, but Alphabet does not leave these FDMs alone. We have also the second pillar, and this is the fleet emission consulting, where we create a plan for the future. 
it looks like a complete plan and that you are ready for a fully sustainable future. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marcus. And of course, we are eager to hear from Marcus on the 23rd of November in Lisbon, where he will join us at the Fleet Europe Days for a thought leadership presentation on fleet sustainability. Don't miss it. And like Alphabet, also Fleet Europe will support you on the road to real sustainability. And we will try to translate sustainability in the one S that really matters for you, and that is simplicity. We would love to give you the most easy and seamless journey that is possible towards a fully sustainable future.